Okay, very briefly, because uh, you mentioned the president. You've been critical of many things, uh, and yet she's helping support uh, the uh, the bill. Uh, you are opposition, right? That's you're not. Correct. You're not gonna. You, we're not gonna see you two, three years down the line. Uh, you know, becoming uh, an administration ally. No, I, I. You know, I don't think I. This whole dynamic of opposition administration is really quite tiresome because. I refuse to be pigeonholed. I am Mar Rojas. These are my beliefs. This is where I want to take the country. This is where I think the reforms ought to be in. Now, if that happens to be consistent with what's, what the government is doing, like in medicines, then let's work together. Mm. If it is inconsistent, like in Human Security Act, then I will vote against it, I will speak against it, and I will, I will try and stop it as much as I can. Mm. So, so it's not a question of just oppose for oppose sake. As I said earlier, you know, I am also for moving our country forward. I am for a better tomorrow. I am for reform. I am for making changes that, in fact, are meaningful for the people because that is what they elected their government to do for them. Don't tell me you're not running for president. <laughs> <laughs> so is that the question? That, that's the question. No, I mean, everybody assumes that, that, uh, that uh, at some point you're going to throw your hat in the ring. Uh, everybody assumes that also about well, that uh, point, uh, you know, about Manny Villar, about Ping Lakson, even about Lauren Legarda. But uh, these are all these are all assumptions and speculations, Ricky. No? I mean, it, 2010 is two and a half years away. Who knows what's going to happen? Mm. I am a senator now. I have a duty. You know, I'm very very thankful. I'm very thankful every day. I thank the people that they've given me this job to carry for mm. them their trust. Um, I, they gave me their trust when they voted for me. They continue to hold me in, in high trust levels. Mm. Uh, I think I'm like second highest trust uh, in the recent mm. survey. And I'm very, very grateful for that. And I take that seriously. And, and I think that focusing on one's job, doing one's job, doing a good job at it, working at it, is the best way to repay the people for giving you their trust. Mm. So questions about 2010, who knows, who knows what, what 2010 will bring? But if your question is, do I want change for our country? The answer is yes. Mm. If your question is, do I think I can do a better job? The answer is yes. If your question is, do oh, I think our country can be in a much better place? The answer is yes. Are you the guy to do it? Well, the answer is yes, I believe. All right. <laughs> I guess that's the most I'm going to get out of you. But uh, Senator Ross, I think uh, this, this hour has been very interesting and very instructive. People, at least after this, will hopefully know where you're coming from and what you're trying to do and whether or not you're going to run for president. Obviously, there are certain issues and certain questions you can't answer at this point, but I'm sure uh, it is in people's minds and whatever they get out of tonight, that they're free to conclude whatever thank they you. want. I'm happy to have been here and happy for this opportunity, Ricky. Senator, thank you for giving me the opportunity to thank talk you. to you. That's the big picture this week. I'm Ricky Karandang. Good night. Thank you for joining us.